welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Let's get a... Can we get a happy Halloween? I was just going to say, can we get a... But it was pulling me to... Some... I don't know, cartoon? I don't know. I don't know. But let's see. Halloween vibes. Halloween vibes. Halloween vibes. Seven of Wands reversed. So... It's like not really being guided, feeling the new energy is the Ace of Wands, right? Both speak of the fire element, so that could be an, ah, the fire element. Page of Pumpkins wanted to come out. The King of Pumpkins, sorry. Masculine energy. We lied. Uh, it's like practical energy. So it could be, this isn't, okay, this is hard for me to explain. So I don't know if someone is having a hard time wanting to explain something. It, it's like feeling the fire, feeling the passion, feeling the drive, right? But it's still being very practical about a situation. I don't know if that's beneficial or not, if that makes sense, right? So let's get two more cards. I mean, it's always nice to be grounded and practical, right? But the Ace of Wands is not about being practical. It's about going after desires. It's about taking action. It's about being creative, right? So I just kind of feel like something's off. Because typically with this reverse, it would be like letting your guard down. But for right now, it feels like it might be more of a block. And we have the two of wands. See, look at all this fire. Fire, fire, fire. All right, so. Oh, that's actually hard for you to see. So sorry, troops. Let me just lower this curtain for you. That might help. Alright, so sorry about that. So sorry about that. Alright. Alright, there we go. That's a better. That's a better for you. So now we have all this fire energy. Fire, fire, fire. Okay? And then we have practicality. This is typically... An amazing king, this type of energy, king or queen, right? But here the depiction is a king. Um, it's practical, it's reliable, it's it's solid, it's sturdy, it's, it's grounded. So yes, again, it's great to be grounded and, and feel all of this, right? But that's to me, that's the problem. You're surrounded by fire. This is about drive. This is about action. This is about going after your intuition. This is, it's, it's going, okay? Um, so I, I don't, it's almost like I can't tell yet if this energy is stuck. Stuck. So let's get one more and then I'll clarify because I don't want to make this a long, long read. I don't, I don't, I don't. It started with a whisper. And then you got the Queen of Cups. So you got a, a masculine energy and a feminine energy. You got the two of wands in front of the Queen of Cups. You had strength at the bottom of the deck when it came to this and this. And now we have strength again at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so, so there's that. It started with a whisper. That song's been on my head. 
in my head since I woke up and I, I don't know any other verse. So let me just look at this for a minute. Because to me, this is like definitely letting your God down when the seven of wands is reversed. There's no need for a battle. It's like this energy was given to you. It's an ace. It's a give or take. You take it or you don't, right? It's a new wave of energy. You have a masculine being extremely practical about a situation. And I, I my opinion, it, I just don't feel the best vibe from that. Because it, it's like hesitating with the two of wands, hesitating whether or not to open a door. But then it's like, or well, going in a new direction, a path, a choice, right? You have the two of wands in between the queen and the king. If you notice, it's harder for me to see this way, but if, if you do, if you notice, okay, it's almost like this one energy, it's almost like that's the man and that's the female, right? And it's, it's, it's almost like you got someone above a guide, a dead one, somebody. It's like, come on, what are you two doing? You know what I mean? So it's like, it's there. Everyone's God is down right now. It's So I don't know if that's a feeling of, Mingya, what do I do? It doesn't seem nerve wracking right now, but this is basically saying, you know, both gods are down and, and that's a really good place to be. Because it leads to a new opportunity. And you have the king here, you know, being practical, which I don't think is the best thing to do right now. Because it's surrounded by fire. And then there, there's somebody here, like, come on, you're supposed to go in this direction. What are you doing? And then... The Queen of Cups is, is very loving. She wears her heart on the sleeve. She's got a lot of beautiful qualities. And it, it's almost like she's questioning whether or not she wants it. Is there love there? Is there not love there? So I don't know if you've been interacting with this energy because she's talking to somebody. It's like she's being guided, but she's questioning it. He's kind of solo and being a little too practical about a situation. And and this one's just trying to bring two people together, being like, what the fuck are you doing? So this is regarding you and somebody today, a friendship, uh, somebody you used to be intimate with, with that being fire. She's being guided. I'm not quite sure what's going on in her head because she's, she's doubting, she's questioning. He's being a little too practical. His eyes aren't open. I wouldn't say this is something that's separating you right this second. This is some. This is a path chosen. So it, it's almost like an arranged marriage, if if you think about it, right? It's it's like being chosen for you. But to me, like there has to be something that ignites that. It doesn't just happen. You know what I'm saying? There has to be some type of attraction. So I don't know if you're getting, I don't know if you got caught off guard or you're about to get caught off guard. I mean, this is Halloween energy. So I'd say the next 24 hours for the portal closes. So to me, it is, it, there's really no need to even really clarify. And, and, you know, there's like a little ding, like telling me like, bingo. Because this this is ultimately, this really is the energy. So if you ask me, the king needs to get out of his head. Because practicality is what has already stalled 
whatever this is or can make or break this situation. Because it's not about practicality right now. It's not necessarily even about love right now. It's it's the drive, it's the ambition, it's the vulnerability, it's two people should be together so I think two people are questioning whether or not to go down a certain road again if you ask me it is it's almost ideal timing because it's a burst of new energy. Your guard's down. There's no need to fight. There's no need to battle, which then leaves people vulnerable. And that can be an uncomfortable situation. So it's only a matter of time. This doesn't mean it's going to work out or whatever this is today, guys. It, it really doesn't because this is extremely practical energy. And, and right now that's... I'm not, right now that's probably not a good thing. And she clearly has doubt if she's talking to a guide or she's talking to somebody else about it, a friend, a family member, like there's doubt. But there's also a clear path. And it's also guided and protected. So the choice is yours. You can let your guard down and you can feel the new energy and you can, I don't know. The choice is yours though. I think it'd be real easy to talk yourself out of a situation here. There's a lot of sexual energy, guards are down. There is this... I'm telling you that this is off. Tell me about the King of Pence. It's off. It's, it's too practical. It's going to ruin things. And her doubt can ruin things as well. So there's a tricky situation here. Yeah, see the King of Bats. See, it's like having to be in this fire, fiery energy, but the King of Bats upright is very motivated, goes after passion, um, takes action. There's no stopping them. Somebody reversed, doing nothing. Why? Being too practical, not following your gut, okay? And I, it's, your gut is your intuition. Now, there's nothing here saying anything about like intuition like that, but passion and drive is comes from your gut. It comes from your intuition. It doesn't come from your brain. Your brain is gonna what? Your brain is what's gonna fuck you all up. And so that's exactly what's happening here. He's being way too practical. I don't know if it's worried about being hurt because the three of bats is at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about this queen. So I don't know how this is going to pan out because <clears throat> now you got the queen of bats. It's the core couple. These are two people that are supposed to be together. It's, it really is like the perfect match. And actually it's the king of air, sorry. Because the king of wands would be this guy that's now at the bottom of the deck okay so this is somebody who is not talking about how he clearly feels and this woman right here is being just as cold so you got two people all this is both air so now you got two people that should be feeling this energy, but they're all up in their heads. Neither of them are doing anything about the situation. It's like they're both about to cut it off. So that means something today is going to happen with this two of wands.
because this energy right here wants these two people together. And typically, it's a court couple. It's a, it's, it's a match. So something's about to go down with this two of wands today. Tell me about this two of wands. Whether it regards you to the higher power, what's going on in her life, what's going on in his life. It's a given. The higher power is about to step in. Okay. Three of pumpkins reversed. No efforts being put in. This is the end of a contract. Between two people. I do not believe it is these two people. Nor these two. So it's the end of a contract. Because there's a new one. So something here is going to happen on their side or, or their side. It's a given. Contract's over. So, again, it's his side or her side. Because these two people, look at it upright, these two people are, are in a new contract, whether you want to be or not. It's almost like it was set up. It's like an, it's reminding me of an arranged marriage. It can either work for you or it won't. But this is kind of telling me you don't really have a choice as a contract. So you might as well make the best of it. It could be sexual energy that brings you two in. It could just be the drive, the passion that it doesn't even have to be sexual. It, it's just, it's just new energy, right? Because I, if I look at it this way, this is upright to me. It's backwards to you guys, but it's upright to me, right? So these two people These two people right here, this court couple, is being brought together by this energy right here. And because that's not happening right this second, something is about to go down because there's a contract that needs to end. So something's going down on his side or her side. And look at I swapped it. I swapped these two cards. So, something's going down that's going to wrap up a contract because it's a new contract. And again, it's like she's being guided and she's even doubting a situation. So, clearly the energy opens back up. And like it's about to, but it's like it stalls again because neither of them are doing anything about it. And this contract is standing between these two people. So there's an outstanding contract here that needs to be wrapped up. And it's, it's about to be wrapped up because these two are about to come together. So something with this three of pumpkins is going down today. And, I, and again, it's the end of a contract, so it's her doing something or him doing something or is the universe interfering so trying to like pre-warn you with something but you got the knight of bats all right so that's somebody that's the knight of wands that's somebody coming in quick taking action that's a messenger going towards something so technically it would be this way, right? So it's, it's either the feminine delivering the message to our masculine or, or vice versa. Something with the high priestess revealed here is something is going to probably be revealed and someone's going to be left out of a situation or 
feels abandoned or neglected. It, something's coming out and then there's the tower. Something's definitely coming out. So there's going to be some type of disruption within the next 24 hours. And it's either coming from a feminine or it's coming from a masculine. It looks like it's coming from the feminine though. So I don't know if she's going to try to call it quits. I don't know, but this is de this is definitely the universe interfering and somebody out of the picture. And that's exactly what I said here. There's a contract that's up. That's it. It's up. It's, it's going down. There's a contract that's most definitely up. And it could even be these two people. And, and and spirits had enough or they're done guiding. It could be that situation too. Whether like if these two people are actually gonna walk away from each other and not make something work, then then so be it. Let it crumble. Others of you, it's an old contract between him or her. Her side, his side, it's an old contract coming to an end. That that's it. It's like that's it. And the universe is definitely going to make sure that's going to happen with the tower there. So there's some type of massive destruction today or tomorrow within the next 24 hours before the void closes. It's the end of a contract and a start of another. And, and normally they don't end and start that quickly. So this is something that's overdue. Like the, it's, it's been way too long of a delay. Is as clear as day. Okay. So there's that. Enjoy the energy. My gosh. It's it's wonderful. Okay. So en enjoy it. Embrace it. If this has nothing to do with you, you still have this. Enjoy the new energy coming in. I love you guys. Happy Halloween.